Hi guys, hope all is well. Just come, oh, just come up to 12.30 here on Tuesday 25th of August. Uh, a couple of headlines uh, overnight, a bit of progress uh, on the trade deal supposedly. Uh, also the Dow has seen its biggest reshuffle in seven years following Apple's uh, stock split. Um, it's a relatively quiet one on, on the data front, not too much in the way of, of data coming out in the, the second half of the day. Uh, worth noting that we're just getting a continuation uh, this week so far of risk on uh, for equities and we're pushing higher in the Dow here following that that stock split uh, along with other reasons as, as mentioned but worth keeping an eye on that that gap fill area uh, just where this X is now that could well be the the next point where the price looks to to move to um, whether that happens this week or not we we'll have to wait uh, and hold on. Obviously, Jackson Hole may have something to, to, to say about that, but not too far away, all things considering another 400 uh, or so points, which would obviously be a big move. But the way we've started the week, it's just basically like another Monday or Tuesday anyway. The S&P has uh, made a new all-time high yesterday. That's continued to push on uh, now comfortably above 3,400. And the NASDAQ, of course, is on a new all-time high yesterday. However, is just holding up a touch. Let's have a quick look at the NASDAQ then to see potential areas to you know, potentially buy the dip. As we have uh, on our weekly or weekend videos and obviously those briefings, we keep talking about the 21 day moving average. That would be ultimately a wicked place for, for price to come uh, down a bit lower. And of course this bottom part of that trend channel, which lines up a similar sort of region. Um, and also by the time it gets there, it could be of course one of these sort of lows that we had from say Friday, for example. That's a long way away uh, and looking on, on a shorter time frame, the area I quite like the look of is around 11 and a half thousand, reason being just a, a, a decent, and it's more of a zone of course, but more of a, a sort of previous all time high that we had turned into support. I quite like the look of that, uh, should we get a retracement there today. Also is around obviously yesterday's low and the S1 area. So if we can get to that point, for me, uh, I quite like the look of it. Uh, the S&P, the, the pivot, or uh, sorry, just above the pivot, yesterday's high uh, and also 34.29 look like pretty good levels. Should we get maybe a better cash open at the moment? It's still for me looking for longs. Moving over to the currencies. Uh, on some risk on we did push higher in in early trade and it's just struggling a, a touch to get uh, above those recent highs you can see a couple of goes trying to get above the r1 as well that's not uh, quite happened the line in the sand for the, the remainder of the week i I'm, I'm pretty bullish if we get above monday's high there was also a bit of support on thursday before that breakdown on friday but yeah above there and uh, i'd be pretty comfortable in, in saying we push on to the upside uh, to the downside sorry i'd be keeping a watch on 11, uh, 118 20 below there on the sort of hour close. We look for price to drift back down towards the double, triple bottom that we had from yesterday and overnight this morning uh, for, for that to come into play. And that's where it gets ugly, I think, below there. The pound, which was less resilient yesterday to a push higher, uh, or more resilient, I should say, to a push higher, has had a, a decent start today and is pushing on. Uh, and I would have that similar sort of euro line in the sand, but this one is more at the 131, 57 area, 50s as well if you want. I'd expect some resistance there, but that said, a break above there, and I wouldn't be too surprised to see the R2 come in pretty quickly around 131.88, so keep a watch on that. To the downside, I probably would want to see 131.13 break, uh, and it's at that moment where I would say a likelihood is uh, of the sort of those lows coming in below there. Uh, so you've got a bit of a line in the sand for the day, but of course keeping a watch on that 131.50 area to the upside. Quickly looking at, at, at gold, for me pivot remains the, the key point. Yesterday we had some support in the more uh, the res resistance in the morning, support in the afternoon, and that broke through almost the high of the day there as well to so keep a watch on that uh, as a bit of a guide. But yeah, it feels like there's better markets out there than gold to trade for now. Anyway guys, hope you all have a good day and I'll catch you later on.